down the street and send you like I need to get more likes than him on this video I need to so do it Camry said that I could do a little informative description of myself I'm Callium and Callium is a scientific word for potassium and potassium's chemical symbol is K on the periodic table ironically my favorite number is 19 even though in science nothing can really be ironic there's lots of potassium in bananas and bananas are my favorite fruit, you can't already see that. Some people would call me a nerd, but I prefer being called a modern nerd because modern nerds are scientifically proven to have more fun. I mean, we just do our own thing and don't really care what other people think about us. Some of my hobbies include anything Harry Potter, if you can already tell. I mean, after all, it's our choices that show us who we truly are, far more than our abilities. I also enjoy doing what I like to call ING cubed. It stands for LARPing, herping, and coding. I love science. Obviously, I mean, anything to do with science, I love doing. Furthermore, I spend most of my time watching live puffin cams. <coughs> properly introduced for like buds now. I can show you guys how to make these DIY wands which are pretty awesome but any true Potterhead would know exactly what house they belong to. You should definitely figure that out and you should also figure out what your wand is made of. You can do that by taking any online test. I've taken like all of them. My wand is made out of laurel wood and has a dragon heart string core and I am part of Hufflepuff which is like awesome. This DIY will require some craft paint. I'm using black, brown, and gold. Paint brushes, chopsticks, I got mine from Target at, in the utensil section. Hot glue sticks, a lot of them, and a hot glue gun. You will also need a paper plate to hold your paint. The first step to making your wand is making the handle with the hot glue. There's lots of variations to do this, but mine has some rings and a big ball of glue at the top. So I'm just gonna do like every other and leave a little space and then come back and fill in the rest of the rings so the rings don't run together. You can do this a lot faster by using a fan to cool the glue in between phases. Now I'm going to go back and fill in the cooled rings. Now I'm going to do my end cap and big circle on the top. Make sure you cool in between your layers. Now we just are going to paint the stick. Now for the next layer, I'm going to use brown, and I'm not gonna really cover up the rest of the black. I'm just gonna paint it over, and this will add some depth and texture to the wand. Now I'm just gonna paint the rest of my stick brown. have some gold paint to do my last layer. This is going to be a dry brush technique, which means that your brush and your wand has to be completely dry. So you're just going to get a little bit of paint and just brush it on very lightly. And here is the final result. So much for hanging out with me today, fellow Earthlings. I know that you guys will use these wands for all of your spells and weekend LARPing expeditions. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking this button right here, and you can see some of our other videos by clicking right here. And don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Callium, 